Valentine's Day, of course, is Friday. Chocolates are always a nice gift, but flowers rule the day. Yes, they do. Flowers are the most popular form of showing your affection toward a loved one or that special person. WATE 6 on your side. Consumer reporter Don Dare talks to an expert mm. about what to select. Don. Well, there are so many things to consider when buying flowers <laughs> right. for Valentine's Day. One of those decisions is price. Don't expect last minute discounts like the stores do at Christmas time. The demand for flowers is at its peak during Valentine's week. A dozen long stem red roses with all the trimmings are at the high end, but there are alternatives. Many people consider red roses to be the ultimate symbol of love and affection. At Petrie's Flowers in East Knoxville, red roses are abundant this Valentine's week, considered one of the busiest times of the year for florists. Inside their air-conditioned cooler are thousands of flowers. Most will be sold by Friday, Valentine's Day. But with so many different colors and varieties of flowers, what do you buy? How much can you expect to spend? Jenny Peake is an expert with 35 years of experience. She knows all about roses and other flowers. We have some beautiful roses, different types, lavenders. And look at this. This is a new design. It came from the wholesale, but it's just beautiful. And something like that arranged in a vase is going to be about $89.95 with a dozen and a range, but it's beautiful. Okay, maybe $90 is beyond your price range downsize. It's smaller, but it's still pretty. And then look at the cost. A lot of people can afford that. And we want everybody, whether it be one rose or whether it be a dozen or a small arrangement, it's reaching out to those you love. So what color do you choose? What does each color represent? Think Tennessee. It's orange, but it's got some pink in there. It's a specialty rose. We don't get a lot like that, except during holidays. And then, of course, we have this. Yes, I love that red and white. And yellow. Yes, a lot of people love yellow. And look at the lavender. Oh. To me, it's gorgeous. And they do represent different oh. types of love. They do, <laughs> yes. White is purity, red is love. This pink, this is like, I'm getting to know you. I love you. We're getting to love you. If you want your roses to last a long time, choose live ones that you can plant. These are potted, potted. and they will grow outdoors. So if you don't want the loose roses, if you want something that's going to last, you know, there's some real roses that are growing that will last forever also. If you want your cut roses to last, they'll need to be trimmed. So here we have long stem roses. Yes, sir. So you want to cut them? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. Okay. And it's always good to do it kind of to the side. At and an if angle. You see, yes. At an angle. Right. And that way it kind of lets it soak up water better. And then you clear off any on the outside that might have any kind of a brown. To keep your flowers fresh and healthy, don't forget to change the water in the vase. Well, just about every three or four days, when you see it kind of looking cloudy in there, mm -hmm. all you have to do is reach it up, pour it out, and add more. Now, we always leave some of this. You put it into the uh, water, and that keeps them fresher. You fold the roses back, oh. and it just makes a different look. It almost looks like it's opened. Remember, no matter what flowers you give, no matter how much you spend, you are letting that special person know how you feel. You sure do. When it comes to roses this Valentine's Day, some of the least expensive cash and carry roses, a dozen of them may start around $20. Those put together by floral designers will run from $90 to $100 plus. Dollars. Now, some people may remember when exchanging Valentine's cards at grade school was the thing. It's still popular. Valentine's, February 14th, is the second largest card-giving day of the year, just after Christmas. Teachers, teachers receive the most Valentine's Day cards, followed by kids, mothers, wives, and girlfriends. And Lori and Bo, I must confess. I've got to confess. <laughs> Please do. I did forget one time, uh -oh. Uh -oh. one time, 
to send a card uh -huh. and also to send flowers uh -huh. only once. And eat. Well, I never forgot after okay. that. <laughs> never forgot after that. You only forget once. Whoa, boy, that was in the doghouse for you a while. You had to have a good excuse. He's still working. I on can't. It. He's still working on it. Don. <laughs> yeah. Thank well, you so much. Tell her that. Oh my goodness. We appreciate it, Don. <laughs> if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call us on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.